So, well, yeah, by the way, uh, oh, no. we're going to call you Yard Dog throughout the episode. Yeah. This episode or going forward? Going forward. Yeah. This. You've been doffed. I guess. The Yard Dog. Yard Dog. Oh. Has anyone ever called you that before? Yard dog. Yeah. I don't think so. Really? Well, because we have two mats on this episode, so, you know, we got to differentiate the mats. Okay. Yeah, because we can't just go to, like, Matt and Matthew, because, you know, one of us would have to be the beta. Right. And then uh, know, we could just call you Lemon Sack. Yeah. We could just call you <laughs> Lemon, yeah. Yeah. How did how'd you come up with What's Lemon up? Sack? Um, yeah. Uh, it's like a stupid story, but... Uh, like I mean, that. obviously, it's a stupid story. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's, it's like not a funny one. I thought it was uh, an intelligent one. Is that just a, that's just a stage name, yeah? Yeah. Okay, I but, wasn't sure to so, be honest. Like some telemarketers called my house when that was a thing, and uh, we're not casting right now, are we? What? Are we casting? Yeah, we're, uh, we're right. deep in the pod. Oh, yeah, this is yeah, this is real. Oh, yeah, crap, Lock like in. Two hours, <laughs> fucking off. Yeah, we're sitting on top of it. Some like telemarketers called my house and like uh, my last name's Lomansky, but uh, they're like, "Hi, is this the Lemon Sack residence?" Mm -hmm. and, like, yeah, yes, yeah, it I is. told is that, that a bit closer to your face. I told that. <laughs> there, there. He's I, I told that story once in like middle school, and it just caught on and became my nickname throughout school. Yes, hello, sir. Is this the Lemon Sack household? I am looking for Barbara and Bill or a Bill Lemon Sack. How do you know my parents' name? Yeah. Do you think that <laughs> might have been like uh, that scene in, fuck, what's the movie with the police? Uh, the movie with the police. The police with the police. Fucking, the other guys? I would say chicken. Police Academy. <laughs> chicken. Training day? <laughs> not fuck. Super Troopers. No, man, not. Super Troopers. It was yeah, Super was Troopers. Super Troopers. <laughs> right? <laughs> Where uh, they called you Lemon Sack as a prank? No. Yeah, like, yeah, I bet you won't call this guy a Lemon Sack. No, surely it was an honest mistake. <laughs> yeah. Surely. You yeah. sure it wasn't far from there, there, were, there was no such thing as prank calls like, I do not 20 years ago when people had nothing to do. So do you go by Lemon Sack just to be funny, or do you not want people to know your last name? It's to be funny, but okay. I mean, I, I do use it as a fallback. Yeah. For like, if my work's like, hey, what the hell? Like, who's this lemon sack guy? He looks just like you. <laughs> yeah. You should start well, going up no, as... Uh, see, the guy that works for you is Matt Lomansky. Well, I guess I just dox myself. Yeah. I can they don't know how to spell it. <laughs> They're coming after you, Matt. That one. Not me. Yeah. Well, you're a yard dog. <laughs> right. Yard dog. Yard dog and lemon <laughs> sack. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we're back on the people. Is this back is on the people. Yeah, this is yeah. Pete. fucking killing it. Feels good to be back. Uh, Lemon Sack is here. Uh, Jacob's here. Matt Yardog is here. Um, here I'm I here. am. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. So what's new mm. with you guys? Oh, man. How was well, Rosh Hashanah? It was, it was, you know, it was fine. Yeah. Spent some time with the family. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I was late. I got a big uh, text argument with my sister right before I came yeah. here. So that. Uh, she saw the podcast? <laughs> Uh, maybe she did, maybe she didn't. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, what was family shit going that's down. Cool. Yeah, I guess yeah, we, don't have to we don't have to delve into that. I wanted to, yeah, but we don't. Not, we shouldn't delve into it. I don't know. It. Just, Probably just some nothing shit. You know how people in the same family also hate each other? Sure. Yeah, because they... So that's yeah. basically what it is. That's yeah. cool. Jacob, if you got into any other love siblings, siblings? No, I don't uh, talk to my... Not, not, I don't allow myself to do that. All right. They, they, they know their... Good answer. Yeah. But, um, Don't allow yourself to do what? Get in arguments? Try and try and change who they, how they be yeah. too much. Let them that, fake. Let them come do it on their own. Not intervene much, but you mean just say what you think, but not, I don't know, not get into an argument too bad. I'm sure it'll happen. I'm sure I could, but I'm sure that'll happen Thanksgiving. I just don't see them enough or text them often so enough for it to happen. Literally exactly what fucking, yeah. you know, they're trying to... They're trying to keep Yard Dog chained. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta run free, exactly. fucking free spirit. Exactly. That, that Dionysian dude, you need to deconstruct, yeah, dude. Yeah. That's what's Bask up. in the madness a little bit. I'll stop one of them fucking Brazilian strays. Yeah, basically. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, what's new with you, Lemon Sack? I wish there was anything. Really? Yeah. No, mm. just fucking working, doing stand up. Mm. Yeah. What do you do for work? Uh, I work at a, a law firm. Damn. I do like it's data and gay. Okay. Yeah. It's what kind of law firm? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you had to ask. 
I literally work for the worst kind of law firm, and I've gone so long without admitting this to anyone. You uh, don't, either you don't law firm yeah. that you don't puts to. teenage black kids in jail for having a gram of weed. Is that the kind of law firm? Yeah, did you work for Kamala's law firm? <laughs> right. No, I guess it's not the worst. It's, Has it's, Kamala sucked your dick for a raise? Yeah. It's like property I stuff. Will, you that really would be a raise. <laughs> that would be an that, upgrade. That would be, I take that as a bonus for sure. Yeah, an upgrade to being Montel Williams. I'd love to be Montel Williams, get sucked off by Kalamella and other POCs. I'd just like to be black. Yeah, that's <laughs> I think that's the core that's of what exactly I'm saying. What, that's yeah. why we're all jealous of you, Jim. Black lawyer. Yeah, he's got half of it. <laughs> yeah. There's, there has to have been like 20. There's probably a black Israelite yeah. comedian. Lawyer, probably, and a lawyer. lawyer. Yeah, uh, maybe. Do black maybe Israelites not be a lawyer? Do they become lawyers? They probably need black good Israel lawyers. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's that's the Israelite part. You, know? mm -hmm. <laughs> you got like three <laughs> options: yeah, you can exactly. be a doctor, a lawyer. Or... Was Farrakhan a lawyer? No, he was a pastor. He might have been a lawyer prior to that. Yeah, he's, he's just a pastor. pastor. Yeah, yeah. Got a very yeah he, he's a pastor, but his core is like hating white guys yeah. or white people. Yeah. That's like the core of his uh, and philosophy. Yeah, play golf, Matt. Yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> How can you tell? You look uh, like I think I've only golf. seen you in golf polos, yeah, essentially. I, I, every time I see you, you look like you're coming back from the course. <laughs> really? I've seen a lot of hockey jerseys. Yeah, no. Sure, that's in the it. winter, I'm hockey nice. jerseys. Okay. Happy Gilmore over here. <laughs> More like depressed Gilmore. Oh, no, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Melancholy Gilmore. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Uh, in the summer, it's, it's all polos golf polo and shit. Mm. Yeah. Because I don't know what other shirts are even cool. Like, t-shirts are boring. Yeah, that's true. Cool yeah, aesthetically and, like, shirt. Thank you. and it's practically See, cool. My ex-girlfriend made me buy it. Yeah. Mm. So She had decent taste. She did. She had decent taste, yeah. yeah. Apparently. That's mm. pretty cool. Uh, Matt, we were talking about earlier, before we started recording, how you did a podcast that was inferior to this one. <laughs> <laughs> you said specifically that it wasn't as good a podcast as My this performance one. was inferior no 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 it was well, the, podcast. the podcast no, no, no. It was itself podcast. it was a podcast are we are we a I, shit talking podcast that shit talk? I, 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 shit yeah. that's what it needs not, that's what we need he's, to he's not revealing the identity i'll say it. i don't know her last name but her name is peggy something <laughs> it's peggy peggy Beady, Beady. oh she's got a podcast now everybody's got a podcast oh, yeah. what do you everyone think? has a podcast nowadays what are you are you trying to be a comedian or not I'm actually filming my podcast right now. It's called Secretly Filming Podcasts. Really? Shut the fuck up, man. Yeah. That sucked, dude. Until I went to improv. <laughs> did you go to improv? No. no. <laughs> Shocker. Yeah. I did go to sarcasm school. Okay. Did you learn from Chandler from Friends? No. He, wasn't he saying for a while that like he invented sarcasm? I don't know. Right. I, I, I haven't seen Friends. <laughs> Literally, seen you friends? can you can name twenty of the most famous things. I haven't seen it. You've never. You, do you know about Friends? I I, I know the theme song. <laughs> no, yeah. no, I know Chandler's a name. Uh, Chandler is one of them. Ron. No, there's no. Don't. So, I'm Jennifer sorry. Aniston's hot. She was in she there. Is, right? What's her? Well, name? that's because she uh, yeah. drinks Adrenochrome. That's why. Yeah, she's Let's like, get that straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's got a good Ron. regiment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. How many of the friends can you name? We got Chandler. Chandler, Jennifer Aniston. I don't, don't, no. There's probably a Michael. No. There's not a Michael. I don't, I don't even know if I can name him. Kramer. It's a different show. I know. <laughs> Chandler, there's Joey. Joey, Ross, yeah, Joey, that, that's the guy. Ross. And then there's Rachel, Monica, Phoebe. Yeah, that's it. That's it. You got there's it. one more chick. No? No. No, that's it. Jennifer you Aniston. I thought there's four girls, three guys. No, three girls. Rachel, three Monica, guys. Phoebe. Are you thinking of Gunther? Gunther sounds I've like never seen in the show. Yeah, it's definitely a dude. I man. thought it was four ladies. I guess no, it was, it was three. three and three. All right. Nailing that Friends yeah, trivia. Yeah. yeah, look at that. I want to give him a fucking trophy or whatever. That's what I dig in. Hit a like and subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is the Friends podcast. This is the Friends yeah. podcast. <laughs> Welcome back to the F Boys. We're going to talk about our favorite episodes of Friends. That's what people want to know. The P about. friends. The P friends. Uh, Matt, what's up? Let's not be the P friends. I don't want to. P friends, yeah. What's wrong P with boys that? is putting. I don't know. It's always fucking piss on each other's faces. Yeah, we get in Discord calls together and I don't edge piss each other. On people, I pee on them. True. It's respect. Thank you for yeah. making that distinction. Yeah. Uh, that's... Occasionally urinate. Right. What other words we got? 
I like leaking on people. I like just squeeze the lemon sack. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, no more ways to describe piss than uh, characters on Friends. So is that why you made it Lemon Sack was because it's it sounds like balls? Yeah. No, it, it, it was just the nickname that I stuck with. I, I made like music for a little while, too, and I also used Lemon Sack. What kind of music did you make? Uh, beats. Oh when I was doing my own stuff, I'd, I'd made beats, but I was in like bands, too. Okay. You don't strike me as a vocalist. I don't. Have you seen me? Have you gone to the independent? See me at karaoke? I have not. You belt it? Allegedly, I can sing. I, I can. I allegedly. admit. I can allegedly, allegedly it right I'm now. told. I'm told. I admit. I any can witnesses? Hit notes. Okay. But I don't know if I sing well. You're alleging it right okay. now. All right. It's, you got, not, it's not a real gun. No, I, I see the orange barrel, but I want to yeah. act like it is. You know? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Get nervous. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So you. Okay. You. Uh, you're like now the house band at. Uh, yeah, it can't, can't. Uh, can't brewer. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool. How did that come about? Uh, I don't know. These are hard hitting questions. Yeah, yeah it's pretty good questions asking. No, it's it yeah. fun. Um, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of fun right now. <laughs> I'm always having fun. No, fucking, it, Floyd was thinking about it, and I yeah. just mentioned the fact that I played music, and he was like, we should do this. Mm. And we started doing it. The first week I did drums, mm -hmm. and he, he did a guitar, and I guess he's. He doesn't practice guitar, or he, he doesn't isn't as experienced with guitar. So Floyd, yeah, mm -hmm. Floyd Jones shouts out Floyd Jones. Uh, for we ended up switching up uh, with me on guitar and him on drums, and yeah. it is so hard for me to not like make yeah. me want it to be like the Kill Tony band. It's like, can I start dressing up as a character too? It was the first we had fucking basketball shorts and a wife beater on. Yeah. You can dress up however you like in real life. That's the thing. Is this not a whole? Is not a whole character that you? It, it is. Isn't oh, your whole I'm existence like a character? Yeah. 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 I would hate to see the real me. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's true. It's so yeah, boring. Was, like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is your hair even real? Is it just an attachment to your cock hat? Uh, can we edit it out when I yeah, take sure. my wig off? Yeah, we'll, we'll edit it out. No, I, I I have hair. Yeah, I know. People Pretty say that I have a mullet because they've only seen me with a hat on, but it's like this isn't a mullet, right? And it's not a mullet. No. All right. Maybe it might that's just appear that way, just the shape the of your head. head. Yeah, that's yeah. a bit strange. Yeah, that does. No, I've been fucking it does look mullet. Don't want to hear yeah, that anymore. I, I, I get it. I, I did a, a set without a hat for the first time this week, and I was like, <laughs> I need to prove myself. Right. Is, Is it just the hat that makes you need to funny? prove yourself by wearing a hat? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, especially if it's got cock on it. You know? Right. It's a free joke. Yeah. Did you feel kind of naked not having a hat up there? Was it more of like a comfortability thing? Like, I need to get over like, I, wearing I a hat every be. set or whatever. I, I thought it would be, but mm -hmm. it was like, did you actually feel, like, did you feel vulnerable? There. Yeah. It was the shit show, though, so it was only two minutes. Like, sure. minute three, I could have, like, started shaking or something. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a place in Brooklyn where you do stand up totally naked. Really? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. I know they do you the would naked do it? rose. No. I I've thought it. about it. Really? I, mm -hmm. I, and certainly open to it. Mm. Yeah, I did. That's, you want to talk about? If I had a tight yeah. five, a five tight as my asshole, I'd do it. Yeah, yeah. I did an open mic in someone's well, apartment I got in Brooklyn, and it was the worst experience of my life. <laughs> yeah, I remember you talking about yeah. that. You were you in the apartment. I won't, won't reshred the territory, but it was just. It, if you go to New York, don't go to the tiny cupboard. Cupboard. Tiny cupboard. cupboard that's what it's called. That's yeah, the room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't go there. It's I feel not, like there's a bunch of. I've seen a couple of those. Like I've you've seen even pretty well known like dan soder mm -hmm. did like an apartment set it was pretty good yeah really? so it was that kind of stuff i've seen the, yeah and then there's like the one in the basement with like the jungle kind of background i've seen sam talent do some sets there, there i mean I don't know about that if one. you're on the inn you can find really good spots i'm sure with yeah. really like people that really want to see comedy right and that, that underground shit you sure, sure. Yeah. yeah i don't want to do underground shit though you know the p was the number one measure of right comedy podcast i yeah. gotta be i gotta be above it. ground exactly right Right. Literally, because I was three floors up. It was on the third floor of an apartment <laughs> building. I don't, like right. you're aiming at gun huh? I don't like the way you're aiming that gun oh, at me. Sorry. Can, no, you, can you aim it at the other yeah, night? Dang, that makes me feel much more comfortable. Yeah. It's no, not, you should load it and ask us questions. It's not, it doesn't have anything in it. I brought it just because I thought it would be a fun prop. but it is It's a fun, it's a fun prop. Yeah. Yeah. Gabe said some things he shouldn't have said uh, while holding the gun, so we can take away his privileges. <laughs> what else is new? Man? What the fuck? <laughs> I can't yeah. So would you do stand-up naked? Uh, Probably not. 
Good. Jacob wouldn't do it. You'd need- I would if I had a good. If I had a yeah. I mean, I, you don't have I five solid minutes. How long you been doing this shit? I'm in a real like metamorphosis phase right now. I'm like really brewing and like what's the word? I'm fermenting right now. Okay. I've been meditating really heavily. So uh, who who is a comedian you would go to see naked? Go to see naked. Yeah. Sam Talent. Okay. <laughs> I gotta Who's a up. local comedian you would go to see naked? Uh, Let's throw some names out. <laughs> Joseph Name. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I got two. <laughs> Why would you start with like fucking uh, what's her name? Whitney Cummings. Um, who else? Uh, <laughs> um, Jacob Russell. Jacob Russell. I'd love to see him do stand up yeah. naked. Um, yeah, yeah, honestly, I'm surprised that Indy hasn't started like a naked show. I mean, they might some sort of like. Uh, uh, I, I feel like it's a real thing. That's a real niche thing. <laughs> it, has, it can only exist in New York. There needs to yeah. be like a yeah. million rooms, that's and it's like, right. how do we differentiate ourselves? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do it we naked. Naked. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's probably that's lots of naked rooms in San Francisco. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. Yeah. That probably be every room is a naked yeah. room down there. There's yeah, probably dude. some of those on the streets. There's too. some guys got walking around naked outside. Right. Some gay guys fucking each There's other. Definitely some whatever. naked tents. Yeah. You fucking freak! You're going to a clothed room. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> fucking weirdo. Yeah, yeah. Pretty cool. A bunch of naked people showing up and burning down like just a normal comedy store. They're all naked. And shit, that's. Oh, we need more naked people yeah, in our dude, everyday honestly. lives. Yeah. I've been saying we need to be a more degenerate country, and people need to lose their minds more. Yeah, you know what they say about Jacob? He puts the cunt in country. Yeah. Uh, Jacob? Oh, that Jacob. Yeah. I thought you were talking about Jacob, Jacob Russell. Russell. <laughs> <laughs> what did he do? Well, he, did, he does have birth of uh, a ho-ass nation. Not my country. True. So, Whatever. you know, I guess he does think this ho-ass nation is a bit cunty. Yeah. yeah. It, uh, it, it the hypocrisy is part of the charm. You have to accept the right. what the country is if you want to have a good time here. You can't right. believe that it's something else and be like, it's so bad. Like, yeah, no shit, we... Or an ad, we were an adversary to Europe. We broke away from something. It's in our nature to act that way. Yeah, and yet yeah, people have Russell. Yeah. yeah, and then we uh, orchestrated nine eleven. There we so go. We got to talk about. Yeah, it. we got to talk about <laughs> it, Matt. What are your thoughts? Some on it? About <laughs> time. This has become the nine eleven podcast unofficially. Right. Right. I'm a guy. What? Is, okay, let's get yeah. your take on it, and then we'll get your take. My on take it. on nine eleven. Yeah, uh, inside job or not? Orchestrated. No one talks enough about Tower 8. You mean Building 7? Building 8. What's, What's building, building 8? eight? See, no one talks about it. Well, tell me about it, it then. Oh, do, do the research. Fuck <laughs> you. You do the research and <laughs> you'll, you'll be woke like me. <laughs> this guy's got some inside yeah. knowledge. Man. He's got yeah. some yeah. podcasts I haven't heard he of found yet. an entirely new building. Yeah, where's that? And how do they keep that one under wraps? Yeah. Well, where, seriously, where is building like one through six. Yeah. We, well, I feel like one seven. and two, uh, they took them down. Well, <laughs> and then three through they, they, six, they were like, all right, we can't knock down they all seven. the buildings. They hit nine and 11. Mm-hmm. And seven. They hit five. Seven, eight, nine. Mm-hmm. Right? But I'm trying to be very good. I'm going to say that in my naked very set. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I what, feel like what did you want to ask? I want to ask you. Okay, so I feel like J- or Joseph, you probably didn't have any kind of conspiratorial. You don't strike me as having that. Sure. Like bringing that to the table. Then you uh-huh. start this little podcast, and you got these two fucking psychos yep. who won't shut the fuck up about nine yeah. eleven. So, like, what do you think about nine eleven? What do I think about now? Yeah, now that we've been just shoving this in your face yeah. every week. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's a funny concept. I like the funny concept. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah, the <laughs> it idea of an inside job. Like, bring up. I kind of, I don't, I, the reason I don't really uh, think about it conspiratorially is because uh, I kind of, if it was like just a random terrorist attack, uh, or if it was like, you know, um, Bush trying to start a war in Iraq. Yeah. Or if it was, uh, you know. The bankers? Yeah. The Jews? <laughs> if it was them, it kind of doesn't matter because it's just like, well, it happened. I mean, it does. And, like, it, I mean, and I get to make jokes about it now. Right. So that's okay. sort of, you that's know, fair. my nuanced take upon yeah. the subject. I think the biggest, like, shift for me, maybe not the biggest, but one of them is like when I really think about it. Yeah. It's like, 
I mean, the conventional explanation is obviously it was, it was a terrorist attack. From sure. And they hate us because they ain't right. us. They hate us because of our free. Right. But like if you, if you can believe that there's a group of people on the other side of the world that would conspire to knock down these towers, then why do you think that those it's impossible for those people to be here and involved in politics? Like, yeah, you believe that people are, are capable of doing that evil, so why is it only those people over there? Yeah, I mean, it does right? make more sense that it would be someone locally than someone yeah. over in Al-Qaeda, especially because Al-Qaeda had nothing to do with it. It was just two random guys, I allegedly. More than two. Well, yeah, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't Saddam. It wasn't... Osama. It was none of these leaders that eventually were yeah. strung up by their balls. Right. They really had nothing to do with. They just ended up just being the scapegoats for yeah. something that yeah. was funded by. Yeah. So. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> but not me. Yeah. yeah not me. I don't not have the, the kind dog. of money to fund that shit. I wish I did. You know, what, that'd be what nice. What is your honest opinion about, like, who do you think is truly the culprit of 9-11? Who do I think? The culprit? Yeah. I don't. I don't think there is, I mean, is that like a person or an institution? I yeah, I mean, just like, what do you converging think? Converging interests, you know, it's when you talk it's about like, like, when you talk about the military industrial complex, it's a fucking complex. Yeah, but so you, it's like, not you think like it was a culprit. It was right? drafted to serve as a way to funnel money to the military. It was, it was used to justify two wars, sure. right? Um, which sure. is a money making thing in and of itself. Of course. I mean, there was the insurance payout from the, you know, yeah. building. Larry Silverstein. Out. There's that. And then uh, the Patriot Act, which gave the government the ability to spy on anybody at any point in time because they could just decide yeah, yeah. that anybody is a potential terrorist. Yeah, well, that's a big so, one. And they killed Pat Tillman. So. <sighs> yes. And that was the, you know, the Cardinals, you know, really fucked him up yeah. for that. Maybe that's what it was, was like Bush, like... He, he, yeah, he was, you know, he had money on the game. Yeah. And he didn't want Pat Tillman <laughs> Exactly. There. Yeah. So, right. So, yeah, I think we solved 9-11. I think we did solve it, yeah. Yeah. I had more questions. Cheney was all about it. Yeah, sure. And Cheney is now endorsing Cheney. Kamala, which is interesting. Yeah, which is that's now, insane. He was like the, the, the face of stuffy white corruption. Uh-huh. That liberals hated, and now he endorses Kamala, and that's seen as unification. It's called than... full circle. The white man finally comes oh, he, to. He yeah. came around. Exactly. He realized the error of his ways. That's I mean. That's well, the I mean, symbol. They, that's the symbolism behind the move. Condoleezza, you know. Maybe he just sees a lot of Condoleezza and Kamala. Yeah, maybe yeah. she sucked his dick, and he was like, you know what? I'm like, I'm enjoying these black ladies right. sucking my balls. Yeah. So I'm making all these money off of wars, so I'm just balling out on that blood money. Yeah, <laughs> that is insane that anyone that like that chain dog, like people, <laughs> chain dog, chain but he dog. can't, chain not everybody dog. can just be dogs. Yeah, the chain he can be man. a cat, he's a chain cat, chain yeah. cat, dick cat. No, let's go with chain <laughs> cat, <laughs> yeah. dick chain. Dick Chain. Dick Chain. That's not yeah. that's not that'd be that's a, a good, good like rapper name, or yeah. Something. My dick chain, yeah. Maybe a not. Group? Rap group? The Dick Chain Gang? Dick the Dick Chain Gang? Yeah, the, the Dick Chain Gang. Cool in the gang? Mm. I don't know. Matt, what do you think about Dick Chain? Oh, shit. Jesus, all right. Fuck, Jesus. Very good. He's like, I got I got to let it rip. All right, all right. Come on. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I've been looking at that window of just how bounceable it is. Uh, what do I think about Dick Chaney? Yeah. I, I want to go hunting with him. <laughs> mm. Probably yeah. a good shot. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hunting for what? Towel heads? Yeah. <laughs> Hunting for corruption and corporate greed. Uh, Matt, you can't say that. Dude, Matt's got some fire. You know, yeah. and, uh, you know, if it's a joke, then it's Yeah, fine. it is. It is right? a joke. It's fine. Right, guys? It's all, it's all a joke? I don't know. Yeah, it's a character. As long as you're not offended. It's a character. I'm not offended yeah. by anything. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> I'm saying because you're Jewish and because like that's your like sworn nemesis is. <laughs> I don't have any sworn nemesis. I'm a yeah. child yeah, of God, a yeah. citizen. That's what it really comes down to. Yeah, you child of Yahweh. Mm. That's yeah, right. I was, uh, we all brothers. Exactly. You know, whether you got Again. towels on your head or you know, I would, big black dick. You know. Yeah. Fucking lemon sack. Like lemon, sack. <laughs> lemon sack mullets. Black dick, lemon I, sack. So I've been uh, I've been wanting to talk about this all day. 
So I was at the Detroit to LA yesterday. Okay. And I, I lost it, obviously. Bummer. Um, Wasn't Emma Stevenson the shoe winner? I yeah. saw some. Okay. Who was the other? She one? was the voted, and then Mike Boone was the judge uh, winner. Mm. Yes. Good job. What was you tell them. me the rest of your story. Uh, you no, so I was I was waiting outside to like get ready for my my set, and then I saw a group of what you would refer to as towel heads. Uh, okay. <laughs> enter the comedy castle. That's not how I refer well, to that's that. What you, I mean, just, I'm just quoting you know. <laughs> Matt here. Um, and I and I knew immediately I was going to lose because my first joke was about like Scarface, but yeah. like Scarface. And I, mm. and then I did like some jokes about Palestine. And, you know, so it's, it, okay. I, it, it didn't go over well. And I was scared I was going to get like ambushed. Afterwards. Afterwards, man. Well, welcome to being a fucking Israeli. Yeah, that's, that's true. You guys are. That's what you get for being a Zionist. <laughs> yeah. We're just a couple of Zionists over here. Yeah. This is a Zionist podcast, right? <laughs> yeah, that was my story. I don't know. I was really upset. I I knew I wasn't gonna win, um, but I was like, what? Yeah. I think you had a good time up there. I did have a good time. Yeah, you. you I like I like looking out at this audience of like mostly elderly family members of people. <laughs> Mm, and yeah. just uh, watching them not enjoy what I'm talking about. Mm. That was pretty cool. They wanted to laugh. They knew you were right. They, they all know it. Right. And then they fucking bombed that carpet bomb that shit. Yeah, it's just more true than funny. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That was a lot. Yeah, this is a real downer of them. Yeah, it is. I'm still thinking about the argument with my sister. Oh, so yeah. I keep right. I keep bouncing in and out of consciousness. I'm <laughs> what are we talking about? Wait, do you want 9-11? Like, do you want to reenact it? I can like Should we hash it out? No, it was just a lot of text. Yeah, yeah, for fuck it. you. <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah. Not a lot of, you know. Right. It's kind of, it'd be a boring reenact. I appreciate the offer, though. Yeah. Was, you know. Yeah. I, I think that was just that. Matt's way of trying to get your number. <laughs> okay. All right. You, like, yeah. you could just ask. I just want to take my shirt off. I think your sister the type of person. Well, you already just got up and threw the ball at the window yeah. for no reason, so you may as well take it to the next Well, level. there was a reason I wanted to catch it. Oh, okay. What are you, a fucking dog? All right. All right. He's Lemon Dog. Yeah. Lem Dog. Sure. Yeah. He also Jer did. Dog, Lem Dog. He didn't yeah. catch it the first time. I just want to point that out. It was a bad throw. Yeah. The person who threw it yeah. sucked. Was it kind of, where did you get this? I don't want to. You're not going to give it back. I'm gonna You're trying to take advantage that? of me. It's neither of your balls. It's Dominic's ball. He forgot it last time he was here. Oh, it's not even yours. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll throw it and you catch it. That sounds right. good. It's a very bounceable window. Well, See, look at that. Fucking that team you want to play you, couch? you can trust me, even though I'm Jewish. I'm sure Joseph's going to love Did it. I get you back. Go for it. Oh wow! Oh wow! That's it's such really a good, good fucking window to bounce. It is a good off. window. You guys' understanding of how physics works is incredible. To yourself, you know, you just jump right out. It's got that good angle, right? You know. I wonder I how much weight it can hold. You, you just want to lay on it. I don't know if there's. Also, we don't have insurance. Not really. Yeah. Well, you don't need insurance if you're fine. Uh, I guess three feet, you could survive. No, for the window. Let's get insurance mm, right before matter. we do it. Yeah, right. matter. very suspicious. I'm leasing the space. <laughs> I mean, if we all fall out of it and we all die, like, who's who's gonna pay the insurance? You know, who's get, but who's gonna host the P boys if we all die? Gabe, I guess yeah, yeah Gabe. Gabe, yeah, the one, <laughs> the one uh, survivor. Yeah. Do you really mm. think Gabe could handle a podcast all on his own? Probably. <laughs> You could probably do a solo podcast. I don't know. Yeah. How much work is really involved? He told me he and used to do a podcast when he was editing, like in high school, and mm -hmm. uh, but his mom found out about it and he had to stop. Because <laughs> his mom found out. Yeah. What was he doing? He was just I don't know. Him, just solo. Yeah. Was it just what reviewing porn or something? I think that's what he must. Have, he, yeah. He just, <laughs> maybe his he, mom make him stop. I don't know. Maybe he was like doing Nick Fuentes. He's type just podcast. showing a little initiative, you know. Yeah. I don't know. He's a showbiz baby. Yep, he's I really he's, he's going places. I I say, what a bundle! Really? What yeah. game? You ever you heard of doing it? No, no. You ever heard of Blog TV? Blog B TV? Blog Not TV. really. No, mm. Yeah, exactly. It was like Twitch before Twitch. Um, okay. I was a fucking baseball card kid. And I would make like YouTube videos, like opening packs and stuff, and I really? would trade with random adults <laughs> that I gave my address throughout the country. But yeah, did any of them molest you? Uh, I think one might have. Uh, I mean, he didn't come to me, but like you know, I, I said he sent you a dick pic or anything. No, we we had 
odd conversations. <laughs> flirty converse. It's coming back to me. Oh, no, so him. you think he was? No, because I, I was in middle school and I was just like, it's funny to act gay. And mm-hmm. he was like, I'm 40. Yeah. Shouts out, Greg. Mm-hmm. Wait, so you, you <laughs> were actually like uh, online sexing yeah. with a 40 year old? No, not, not sex. <laughs> it was fucking entrapping. What were you guys like talking about in these messages? I don't know. I, I would just be like, uh, I don't know, because on, on blog TV, I would take my shirt off and stuff. And, it, and what would he say? Sounds sexy. Know, probably some gay stuff. I think I repressed this. Oh, <laughs> I don't sounds know. like it's coming back up. Yeah. You were taking your shirt off at, what, age 12 or 13? 12 and 13. You were trying yeah. to entrap this guy. Oh. Were you working yeah, with cops? What, yeah. what would he message you? <laughs> Nice bod. I, would, yeah. I literally, it was, I think it was Looking actually like there, graphic right? stuff. Jeez. But like, I didn't think he was anything saying graphic it because stuff? I was a kid and Greg. I was like, he's a nice guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah dude, Greg was trying to fuck you. Yeah. Uh, he, he was in Canada. What is that? What's that mean? There, dude. Uh-huh. There's no laws up in Canada. I could have flown up there. <laughs> yeah, you could have. Well, I, I guess I could have drove. Sure. You could have. You he he would have found a way. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> and where, where there's a Greg, there's a gay. I did not expect to fucking randomly bring that up. But yeah, I used to stream before. Are, are you like having PTSD right now? I think so. Shit. The original OnlyFans? I, I mean, it wasn't like traumatic when it happened. Because like, it was just like, you know, I was having fun with like, mm. my boy, you know. I was like, I'm a big kid. Was he, what What types of things would he, would he be like, how big's your cock? Or like, no, you know, no, it, it wasn't like that. It's like, oh, you got a nice chest on you. I you think know, I right? would say like gay stuff and he would like play along, but like. Oh, sure. He was he just being a bro. Yeah. Yeah, he just knew what was funny, how to be funny. Yeah, I think I was just the perfect fucking pedophile yeah. bait. Honestly. Yeah. Honestly, you should have mm. like been molested. Like, I, It's amazing <laughs> that I haven't. Yeah. Been. Actually, no, I think about There's it. There's still well, hope. Share. <laughs> Share. <laughs> <laughs> is that what Jerry. you said? What no, I said Jerry. Oh, Jerry. As in Seinfeld. Ba-dum, 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 ba-dum. Yeah, I guess what is the cutoff do, 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 for do, do, molesting? Do. Is it 18? I think it's 18. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean... Sure anyone can be molested. Uh, it's like a, a matter of consent. <laughs> no, at that point, it comes. It becomes assault. Right? Is that... Oh, it's still well, statutory, though. I mean... Statutory R. Mm. It's, just, it's not pedophil- pedophilia. It's not... That's when you're really but you don't molest a 19 year old. You you might sexually assault a 19 year old. Oh, you can absolutely molest a 19 year old. That's what. That's not what they call it. That was. That's that, what. That was that's his molester I, yeah. face. Oh, is it? Isn't molestation just like being violated, like sexually? As my, is that just it touching? just seems like be. you know when they say molestation, it, it implies pedophilia. No, yeah. is that just? Uh, no, I think know? it's only something you can do to kids. Yeah. Can we look this up? Sure. Uh, That's what. Yeah, yeah, they used to refer to children as fondlings. Hey, Siri, L- little fondlings. That seems odd. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. That's not the way Priests I would took a little the question. Why would Priests they? like, I'm just doing my job. I'm just doing what, you know, I'm just fondling the fondling. Yeah. Wait, wait, no, that's fondling. sexual assault or abuse of a person. Of a person? Well, it does say especially a woman or child. Oh. So I guess as an adult male, I can't be molested. Okay. Right. Well, that's bullshit. Yeah. Have your way, boys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Got to get those viewers. Do you think, the, do you think like the, the Jedis were... Like molesting the was there? <laughs> they could have maybe they yeah. definitely could have yeah. yeah. Anakin yeah. was just putting them out of their misery. Yeah, I didn't see that episode. Yeah, maybe that's what it, that's why he killed them all. Was he was like <laughs> you'll well, never be able to live a normal life. Yeah. <laughs> Yoda was like I don't remember those episodes very well. Good. Yeah. I only saw I mean I, I saw the original ones a zillion times. We had the uh-huh. VHS four, four, five, and six, right? And the first three, I saw the first one only a couple times. Uh-huh. And then episode wait, wait, two. Prequels? Yeah. Yeah. Episode two, maybe once or twice. I never saw episode three. Revenge. Were you a yeah. Star Wars guy? Yeah, that's one of the few things that I have seen. Yeah. I actually, like, want, like, like a fucking PS4 to just, like, play Battlefront and stuff when that was a thing. Uh, sure. Don't throw it no, I'm camera. doing it for the camera. Final the ball right here. Where, where? Go a little lower. Um. Yeah, no, Star Wars, Star Wars is fucking sick. Yeah. That I could actually, like, do trivia with. Okay. 
the, this is a Star Wars episode, ladies and gentlemen. We're adjusting it to be a Star Wars episode. Uh, uh, Thirty-five minutes into the podcast. Uh, what's your favorite Star Wars? Episode three, <laughs> Revenge of the Sith, man. Really? Yeah, I saw the night before it came out. One Retweet. Contest on Fox News. Really? Answer the trivia question. He's like, what color is Yoda's lightsaber in this movie? They're <laughs> trying to trick people because they're like, in this movie. Right. It's, mm-hmm. like, it's always going to be green. It's always yeah. green, yeah. yeah. Well, in the in the Ridge, he doesn't have a lightsaber in any of the movies. Right. Mm-hmm. But I mean, in episode... <laughs> I don't know if he pulled it out in one, but in two, it was green two, as fuck. Yeah. yeah. He was flipping around and shit. Just flipping, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I've been meaning to ask you this. How old are you? 28. I'm 28. 28? <laughs> so you're like ripe, like prequels age. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was a, like elementary school to middle school when they came out. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I, I was very excited for fucking those movies. Yeah. Because my dad was really into it. Okay. Do you still watch like like do you like the Disney Star Wars? I I was keeping they, up the for gay a little Star while. Star Wars, as I call it. Yeah, the, the new one. <laughs> they say. the last thing I saw was the Obi Wan show. Uh huh. That, that sucked. Yeah. It, it was just like so disappointing. Yeah. But I don't know. Out of all the new movies, I really like Rogue One. That one was actually sick, and like a lot of people hate that. Mm. They're like, oh, everyone dies. I was like, well, I didn't see that coming. You know, <laughs> cool. Spoiler alert. Everyone died. Yeah. Even the viewers. Well, everybody yeah, does eventually, right? Yeah. 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 Even the Star Wars characters. Yeah. Even Yoda. Even the Star Trek characters. Even the stars themselves. Right. All war ends with his death. Even Building 8 died eventually. A lot of war Legend. ends with, you know, Halliburton kind of rebuilding yeah. with their contracts, you know. It's the war in Ukraine. Did you guys see uh, Trump was on Flagrant? No. Was he? I saw he was interviewed by Lex, Lex Friedman. Oh, yeah, he's dude, gonna... Trump's on like a podcast tour. Like, he's going to be on. Um, bro, that's that's, like, that's, that's catch the up. game. Dude, yeah. No, I think that's she was the... on Call Her Daddy though. <laughs> was she on Call Her Daddy? Yeah, Kamala was on Call Her. Daddy. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. I'm what sure. the well, fuck? I got, okay, if she was on the right yeah. podcast where they just fed her softballs, but completely wrong yeah. podcast to go on. You already had the degenerate. Was she like asking her about like sucking dick or whatever? Yeah, essentially. I'm like, well, I don't know, just about fucking Blumpkins or whatever the fuck. What is your policy on sucking dick? What? Do you like the hawk to a girl? Holy shit, she actually was. Yeah. And Trump's going to be on Red Scare. Which one's Red Scare? <laughs> it's a right wing one. I guess, yeah, it's like a right wing. Uh, is it a right cat- wing? I've never listened to it. Before. No, it, when it, in, its, in its conception, it would probably be considered, I mean, I don't know. I've never listened, but it's like um, um, Dasha and some other, um, I feel bad. Russian I don't know their bitch. name. Yeah. Some Russian girl. Anna, I think is her name. Yeah. Um. But it's, I mean, it used to be really big when, um, I don't like, I don't want to talk about what the old podcast yeah, landscape and what it used scare to be. Lore. Yeah. Well, I mean, when like Come Town with Nick Mullen was cropping up, I think Red Scare was in that same realm. But I mean, I wasn't into politics or podcasts at the time. So, I mean, that all passed me by around the same time Tim Dillon was doing his thing as well. But they had a lot of influence as far as like what people were thinking, I think. And now they're kind of, um, we're kind of seeing that again there. The amount of uh, power going on to certain podcasts can really have for. I thought Red Scare was like a socialist podcast. Yeah, I think that's. But then, but then I saw they were like friends with Alex Jones now, mm-hmm. and so I. And they're, they're like kind they're, of into they're, they're some yeah. some aspects of Catholicism or just some sort yeah. of some sort of morality, just any semblance of a morality based on like a god or some sort of like actual center point, and not yeah. just some. Again, I've never listened to it, so I have thing. no idea anything yeah. about it, but. That's, uh, I can only speculate I, about what it's probably about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Think you can get Trump on here? Probably. We could probably get him on the P Boys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hold sure. that him the whole time. That'd be nice. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Let me get a couple more back views. Any memories. You get some views out of it. Yeah. Yeah, you could wear your shirt. Yeah, you, you can wear, wear my shirt. shirt. Yeah, he, he, he get that. A, Gabe's liberal yeah, you girlfriend get a sign, wouldn't be a fan. Right. My dad would fucking jizz his pants. Yeah. Same. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, not, it not might like me, but like my dad. dad. Yeah, it might. Yeah, it might be a good thing to have Trump on the people. Boys. It would certainly help. You know, you yeah. could get some fucking followers. Yeah, you know, get a couple more views. Just don't have Gabriel Malachi on that episode. <laughs> the two twinks of the people. <laughs> <laughs> that would be intense, man. Man, yeah. Trump sitting in this chair. Like, holy fuck! Show me your ear, bro. That's what I would ask him. I was pretending you were Trump. Mm. Yeah, I need to put my finger through it. Yeah. 
test the authenticity of this Man, injury. I noticed a couple weeks ago you were trying to challenge the cardboard tubes when they were singing their Trump song. <laughs> kind of. Kind of. I don't you know what you weren't challenging I was, I was uh, antagonizing. <laughs> yeah. It's just a they're, they're easy to antagonize. They are. The, the they're so stuffy. They yeah. don't stop. I, I haven't, what was I, haven't I saying? Was I just saying, like, make America great again? Yeah, you were saying something oh like God. that. And it was, they were, like, in the middle of their Trump song that was, like, yeah. fuck Trump or whatever. And it's, uh, it's like this like, minute song. Yeah. Trump is a bad man. He is a rapist. Why don't you join the light side? Why do you hate women? Why do you grab their pussy? Vote for Kamala. Tim, that was too light. Tim Watts is my I dad. Too many words. What song is that? That was the is latest that, cardboard too. Is that the cardboard? Yeah, that's the most Remember recent track. Is that actually? Yeah. yeah, that's wild. Oh shit! Wait, no, that's not the actual words. It Tim Watts uh, jacked off to Taylor Swift. I wear Taylor Swift with my mom, but I'm 84, so it's impossible. But I live with reality that different, so it could happen. Yeah, that's actually kind of funny though. They wouldn't sing that. <laughs> Yeah, because it's much better yeah, than anything the, that they fucking come that's up also with. What's the point sound. of the cardboard tubes? Like, I don't know. I like the I like the guy. They have fucking old. What else are you gonna do? Yeah, we don't yeah. have to give them time anymore. They don't have the ability to carry out a mass like genocide or shooting or anything. This is. I mean, we don't have to allow them to do this. That's what you were preventing is like a an atrocity yeah, from happening. Liberal, I mean, like, it's also the most annoying yeah. version of people. Fuck off. It is an open mic. Yeah, yeah, so yeah it's kind of like. Yeah, I guess if they're subjected to whatever Jacob has to offer. Sure, I respect like, that, but I mean, it's it's the musical act. I mean, I don't know, I don't know, dude. I, I respect the fact that they're trying. Yeah, they're they're, they're, they're a staple. Yeah, to I kind of, I mean, yeah. you know, they, I I I I enjoy the fact that they exist. Yeah. I don't enjoy the fact that they. I wouldn't say I enjoy the that fact that, that they world. exist. I I respect and understand that they exist and have to exist. I wouldn't. Ask that they not exist, but right? But I, I do enjoy that. I don't want to sit and watch their performance. But I was so pissed when Paul stopped the show for the Lions game, and then during halftime, he was like, "All right, we're going to resume at halftime." And then he gave the entire halftime to the cardboard tubes. Yeah. And then when the game started, went back to the game, and I was well. I get his thinking because it's like a music. You know what I mean? That's the halftime show. Yeah, but no one should let Paul Pepitone think. <laughs> That's. I mean, you know, I. I'm just I'd kidding. See Paul. what you're he's saying. Not watch this, but I see where he's coming from. Yeah. Sort of. You know, almost. It's funnier in theory than it is in execution. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, as a joke, it like, is oh, a funny idea. Fucking... Of like, oh, yeah, let's have the cardboard. Right. But, like, really, we're show. putting them on at but 1 a.m. Nobody wanted It was too logic. logical. It was too much logic. Yeah. I didn't, I don't like that. They could probably get, like, some kind of traction on Also, like, they're not, like, YouTube entertaining. If yeah. You figure yeah. Out yeah. Well, that's why. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I've been thinking. I want to make a documentary about them, and then just have them come here and like just tell their story and just be too fucking. That's gonna like, be a long I story. Go, I kind of want to listen Dumb to the story, but fucking yeah, hippie right. dudes. Well, it all started in 1964 uh, about an acid and fucking. I don't know what they actually sound. Might as well sound yeah. like that. It's more like this. And then the cardboard. We are the cardboard well, I'm, I'm trying tubes. To, I'm trying to bring back a time where they're more lively and full of life and not you know like keeping a crypt yeah. or they met like five years ago and they were just like it's oh, just let's just do this thing and have gay sex in the meantime nobody will ever know that we have gay sex together if we uh they've answered that duo. question oh, I can they've, they've, it. That they've, they've made it clear that they're not gay <laughs> a couple of bigots but they're old school liberals like they're still not okay with homosexuality <laughs> maybe they're in line maybe they don't see butt fucking as like actually being yeah. gay they just like butt fucking because it feels good Wait, or maybe Who asked them if they were gay <laughs> Uh, did I ask if they were gay? <laughs> <laughs> you probably called them gay. Like, I think I might have. Men. I actually think I might have. I don't know if it was me or somebody else, but the more I think about it, the more I think it it's might have been. You. It might have been like I was doing a set and it wasn't going well. So I was like, right, I'll do some crowd work. So I started talking to them. And I was like, are you guys gay? Like, what's your deal? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Now it's all coming back. Something like that. All right. And they said they weren't. Okay. But the crowd work fucking killed. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Those guys are like Cheech and Chong, but it's more like Chong and Chong. Yeah. yeah. Right. Or like, or like Re and Retard. Bleach and Re oh. and Tard. Yeah. yeah. Re and Tard. Yeah. <laughs> Reincarnation. Reincarnation. Old and fart. Yeah. 
Yeah. They just look like they smell. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd fake you guys out. <clears throat> smell the musk. Four. This fucking guy. Yeah, I'm gonna put you in a fucking cage, animal. Yeah. So, hey, you've been doing you've been doing clips. How are your clips going? They're they're clippy, you know. It, like I was Instagram like changed their features, like you can't do topics anymore. So like I yeah. I've been getting like fifteen thousand less views on average, which like kind of sucks. Yeah, I was gonna say you were getting a ton of views in those. Yeah, it, thanks Instagram. Yeah. I wasn't getting a lot of likes, though. So, like, the ratio was pretty bad. Really? It would be, like, fucking 20 likes and, like, 10,000 views. It was like, oh, okay. Oh, shit. Were you boosting them or just... Nah. Okay. I guess that's what they want me to do now. I, yeah. I, I mean, like, that was a thing. Did you like those views? Well, now... You're, you're just getting views organically. Yeah. You're using our features. We need to change the algorithm. Our next level AI. Yeah. Are you going to boost them? Maybe. I don't know if I ever come with don't any do good it. jokes. It's, it's a waste of money. I've boosted posts that just get no traction on it and mm -hmm. spent $15 on like five v five likes. Well, maybe in, if in your clip you were coming out as trans or sucking a cock. Yeah, that's, maybe that's what you can... Maybe you should try coming out as trans. Like pull or something to either side. I should do like one where I'm just like, yeah, no, Hitler wasn't that bad. And then boost that. And then one where it's like, yeah, no, I would suck <laughs> Yeah, you'd be the dick. first like trans pro Hitler comedian. Yeah, maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe. maybe. <laughs> I guess I'd have to transition though. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, that's too much money. Lose your dick. Well, you don't have to identify as trans. You can start dressing like a woman and live that out. But you can still identify as a man. I'd rather just the whole identify as trans and like not dress. Although some of these fucking Snapchat filters, I'm a pretty girl, dude. Yeah. You look like you mm -hmm. want to identify as a trans am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. Thanks. Hell yeah, dude. Hell oh, dude. it's a car. Yeah. Right, that was a it looked like a car. No, more like a Grand Prix. <laughs> or, wait, Grand Prick. Uh, hey. Look at that. I'm just Pricks. looking at how jumpable that window is. <laughs> Yeah, that's I've been looking at that window for a long time. Yeah. Every time I yeah, come, you guys don't get to look at the window. Uh, every time I get to listen to nerds, <laughs> I'm like, today's the day. And I'm looking at this fucking white wall. Yeah. Yeah, I'd hate to be on that side. Yeah, it does kind of. <laughs> this is this place to be? White's yeah, like there the was a. Look at. I don't what? remember what I was saying. Wait. Um. I'm sure it was important. There was yeah, something. Though. There was something. It's always something. You like sports? No. I do. Baseball? No. Oh, oh shit. That's, that's it. Yeah. The Tigers are doing cool Yeah, stuff. apparently they're in the play. That's good this for them. This is an episode yeah. people can skip. Super good. <laughs> Nothing good is going on in this episode. We've had some moments. Yeah, we've had some good, some clippable moments in yeah, there. Yeah, I mean, let's get Matt's them clips. Heads. That was a good yeah, one. That was, yeah, that was, yeah, going to fucking kill him. Yeah. Blow up. We going to viral up in his bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Mad dog at work. Yeah. Arr, arr. That wasn't a good one. When are we gonna start <laughs> there you go. Much better. What? When are we going to start recording? Uh, Say we with your chest. Do we <laughs> there yeah, I think I'm warmed up. Yeah. Was there, a was a, Chihuahua there was a chihuahua. There was this black girl who kept on annoying me to put her up sooner at New Way. Mm. Uh, T Autumn? No, it was <laughs> T Autumn did, and I did put her up early, but this was a different black different, girl. Different. Shout was out T. Was it the one that just I went and asked not. everyone's name? Yeah. Yeah, and I was, was like, dude, you fucking like you were bugging me all night, and you just do this. Isn't that older lady that'll like play pool? No, it's not older lady. Okay, like, never mind. She's pretty hot, but she yeah. Was, uh, oh, uh, I I don't know if she'd ever done stand up before, but she okay. like brought all her friends. It was a hot. Oh, oh was she was she's sitting in the really corner by the DJ booth. Yeah, yeah. God, oh, she got up. It. Yeah, she got up. Oh, that must have been after I. It was. Left. She. Uh, I just hit someone's foot. Oh, you can put it. Um, different foot. Yeah, we're all she, playing footsie. Yeah, she went after you, mm -hmm. and but um, did she kill? She killed. No, obviously. she didn't. She what? She, she hot girl didn't kill. She just started asking everybody their names and wasn't had nothing to do with that. Yeah, yeah. What's, just take <laughs> what's kick an name? ass and take a name. Um, fuck, I forget. <laughs> Shit. What's your name? Yeah, that's pretty much what it was. It was. No, I'm huh. trying to recreate oh, yeah, yeah. it. Well, what's your name? Uh, Joseph. It's funny. It's funny. Joseph? You guys that's, like, just... that's like the Bible. Oh, wait, no, I already added too much. Yeah, yeah, nice. It's not a good What's impression. your name? Nice to meet you. My name is uh, Matt Dog. What's, <coughs> what's your name? 
Yeah, that was pretty much it. Yeah. It I don't rough. know. She, she was cute. Did she plug her Instagram? No. She, she had uh, like two minutes of material. Yeah. Well, I don't want to well. besmirch her too much, but uh, right. She yeah. I don't know. I just thought I should bring that up. I, I just yeah. thought the whole asking story? everyone's name thing was like that was yeah. I forgot about that. Oh, that was yeah. funny. <laughs> just fucking. Ooh. I felt she was way better than it should have. That. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. She was like, she was mad that Josh Adams showed up, and I was like, I don't know what to tell you, bitch. Yeah. Josh Adams showed up. Josh, Josh Adams, Adams showed up. Everything went down after I left, huh? No, it it fucking like, I, I think after Matt went up, like, it just died. My bad. Really? What no, time did you go up? Is there a, uh, the, the end of my set was actually. What like, what time were you? Yeah, up? no, you you probably did the best of the night. No, probably not of the night. No, because after the black girl went up, her and all her friends left, and that was oh, basically the crowd. Yeah. And so then it went it back was, to usual, new way. Yeah. And then it was just like some kid who like thinks he's a rapper named Polo Marshall. Wait, did he go up in acapella rap? No. Oh. He, I wonder if that's the same guy that I saw do that before. Isn't that guy wears a see-through shirt? Maybe he had like a weird like cat hat that oh. had like hat cat ears on it. Oh. Oh my. He was like I with the, like the artsy it. like fag group that like comes and hangs out there. I've never seen any of them do stand up, but two of them signed up and they both bombed. And I made them do ten minutes. No. <laughs> and uh, the second one, I don't remember his name, but he was like, he was like mouth breathing the whole time, and he was just like, uh, he's like, oh, this is, this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. I thought I had I had ten jokes, and I thought each joke was one minute. And uh, <laughs> fucking bombed. I was expecting 45 seconds of laughter. <laughs> and then I said that kid has a awake apnea, and then all his crew laughed at him, and I was like, yes. Got him. I beat him. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to hear him breathing, but no, it's fucking good. Yeah. But yeah, so that was, that was pretty cool. Yeah, there was one time that like some dude like showed up, and he was... He was immediately like causing a scene with his friend. Like he was just like he went to the other fucking room and like he started like screaming like freestyling and like it, like while people were on stage. Man. And it was just like all this commotion. Did Paul then, kick him out? No, Paul literally put him up just so he would get out. Yeah. But, oh yeah, the dude was fucking like smoking a cigarette inside the new oh, way. Shit. No. Like no no one's think he's Dave Chappelle. Jeez. Yeah, no, and then Gotta earn that he shit. went up and he was like, I thought I would have some back tracks, oh, but it, I'll rap. Is he the guy with like the weird colored hair? I don't. I don't think so. No, oh, I think he had like a like a buzz cut. It's like African American hair. Yeah, he <laughs> looked like his name was Omar or something. Oh, but okay. fuck. Fucking, he went off there and Shit. he just acapella rapped while his boy was like filming up front, like yeah. Damn it. And like he had no rhythm. He had no rhymes. Uh, I mean, he didn't have a beat, but like you should be able to fuck. Uh, to that kind of happened to me yeah. in a an Uber in New York. I was in an Uber in New York with a buddy of mine, uh-huh. and the the driver. We just started talking to him, and he's, he says he's, like, the number one Indian rapper. What the fuck? And we're like, what are you talking okay. Well, he opened up by saying, are you ready for the best Uber ride of your life? I'm like, all right, let's see what you got. And he tells he's, like, the best, again, Indian rapper, whatever the fuck that means. And he pulls out a book that shows him what as an Indian rapper. I don't know. I guess he's the best. And then he's like, all right, let me rap for you. And then he rapped, and he was fucking terrible he was not good at all and then and then we were like oh shit yeah like trying to be like like yeah that was good stuff and he goes i'm better when i get high and we're like all right why don't you get high right now that's yeah and then he gets to our destination he goes you guys want to smoke and we're like fuck yeah of course he goes and then he goes wait you guys aren't cops are you we're like you fucking picked us up. Like, yeah. this is the worst way to sting someone for fucking weed is to order an Uber on the off chance they offer you weed. Mm. Like, fucking roll it up. <laughs> so he did. And then he read for us when he was high because he was allegedly better when he was high. It was the same thing that he did before. <laughs> how much time did you guys spend with this guy? <laughs> like, uh, how long was that Uber trip? It was maybe like a 15-minute ride, and then we just rolled a joint, and we smoked it, and he rapped for us. That all took, I don't know, maybe five to ten minutes. Oh. And then he just kept on Ubering, I guess. And we're like, all right, that was uh, yeah. interesting. should have reported him after that. <laughs> 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 it was the most, that's, God, the most memorable Uber ride of my life, I think. I don't know. Was it, did he, like, have Indian accent, or, like, was he, like, regular? No, he was pretty, you know. Americanized. Yeah. Yeah. 
Damn. So he's just leaning on the Indian thing. I hate, like, yeah. Yeah. drivers with a gimmick. Like, I hate talking to people to begin with. This is why I hate yeah. podcasts. You get in like, and they've got a QR yeah. code on the back of the yeah, seat. Like, it's like they want to like talk about something and they give you like the aux cord and they give you like mints. And I'm like, dude, just mm-hmm. fucking. You don't like the little pam? I, I think it's a nice touch. No, yeah. You don't like the aux cord? They let you charge your phone in the bed. Just just put my headphones on. Customer service. You don't like yeah, good sure. customer service? Just put my headphones on and call someone. I'm just getting into an argument. <laughs> Yeah. I like I'll just call your sister though. and get into an Let's argument. Go for it. So I don't care if those people were displaced by a hurricane, okay? Well, I'm not sending the money through. Like, dude, I don't give a shit that you had to come here because ISIS fucking invaded your village. I'm sorry, like, it's not my problem. Shut up and drive. It's not my problem. You know, they're giving Teslas to Uber drivers now. Like, so that's their, like, their car. What you, who's they? They're giving them Uber. Teslas? Uber is giving out Teslas? Uber gives out cars? Well, yeah, probably have if you don't have a car, you can sign up for Uber and they give you a Tesla. What the it's like a government yeah. contract, right? Do you have to like prove that you don't have a car, or can I just like, I'm like, hey, here's my box I live in? Can I? That's drive interesting. Yeah, so, I don't know. I don't know it has begun. Yeah, right. It's, Dude, well, you I just want to like drive it. They're gonna merge, and then they're gonna be self-driving cars, and this is just the test run. They're just giving you Probably, a Tesla. Yeah. They're gonna be just like, to, like <laughs> build, you know, this Tesla thing. of the waters. It, they're iterating. Yeah, they're going to put you in a sarcophagus, and then your sarcophagus is going to be inside the Tesla, and you just have to. That's right. that's your life forever, like a dreadnought. Am I dumb, or what's a sarcophagus? I don't know. It's like a, that, like it's a, like a thing. Like yeah. a tomb. Dead box. Tomb, yeah. Okay. yeah. But in, like, space marines, they have these things called dreadnoughts, and then, like, once um, you can't fight in your, like, your human body, they put you into this, and you're still alive, but they insert you in, and then you're, like, forced to fight for... um whatever the space marines i need to play the game i thought it was cool a lot of youtube shorts wait so bad who's they're gonna put who in a sarcophagus like Elon Musk. like a, a soldier a marine a space marine usually like somebody of maybe prominence they're gonna put them in the tesla yeah they're gonna put them into the tesla and then that's their life for now they're gonna oh, eternally uber driver yeah okay but it's going to be self-driving at that point. Yeah. Oh, so they're, they're not going to have a choice. They're, they're symbolic. They go out something? and drive, and then they go home, and their their home is a parking garage. They don't live in a home anymore. They're 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 self-contained within the Tesla itself, and then they sleep at the charging station. And then when they wake up, their job that their only job is to go out and pick people up. Like you no longer you I live within the system. I don't want to say it on the podcast. But uh-huh. you guys it's too on, <laughs> it's too ontological. You're describing, like people's actual lives right now. It's just instead of a Tesla, it's a Civic. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, on a metaphysical level, that's the kind of lives that we're living. That's why games like that are so, like, resonant with people. And, I mean, that's why Space, space Marines is so cool. I don't even play it. I've never even heard of Space Marines. Yeah. It's like, 40, it's like the 40K, the 40K uh, Warhammer-like universe or whatever. Okay. It's that's like, you're either into Lord of, you can't be into too many things. It's like you're into Lord of the Rings or into 40K. I'm sure you, there's an overlap, but, I mean, you dedicate your life to, because in a way it helps people... Uh, align themselves with the world in, in a way that they can understand that's not just some pussy right. conception of things going on. It's easier to compete with reality when you think you're in a fight and you have to assert yourself if you actually want to survive other than being passive in your life. There's, uh, there's nerd retards and there's sports retards. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Same thing. I was a little bit of both. I was very deep into sports when I was in like middle school. What kind of sports? Like, I don't know, pretty much baseball, everything. mainly like baseball and hockey, but like yeah. I would keep up the with everything ones. else. Mm-hmm. I used to like when I was bored in school, I would just write down one through 100 or one through 99 and then like write an athlete, which with the, the jersey number for each number. Damn, damn. Mm-hmm. that's, that's pretty good. Awesome, shit. Baby. Yeah. God damn. Yeah, I wasn't going to say anything. But, um, mm-hmm. I was mediocre at this. I was I had potential to be good at sports, but I never like had a proper regiment to like hit that next like echelon and then i just got anxiety and stopped swinging the bat only wanted to pitch only what got used like for inch running baseball, baseball and golf Definitely baseball golf um uh, yeah sure ping right. pong tennis badminton those we're really like um alternative net sports yeah a lot of those like lottery asian countries yeah sure <laughs> It's like baseball, it's like a team sport, but it's like individuals at a time. It's like a 1v1. Right. Well, there's the, there's the micro level of sports where you have to be good individually at fielding and et cetera, et cetera. But then Asians are really good at being part of a system, like being little ants and being part of a team and just understanding right. that there's an overall goal that we're trying to reach. 
like going through. yeah and like pissing your pants on the subway but knowing that you have to do this because you got to be at work you can't like piss and shit yourself at home you're That's doing why it they started code you didn't make uh 250 000 yen this year so yeah. you can't go see your family so you got to put a, a samurai sword through your body mm. in the shape of a those. swastika yeah it probably run the world doing? I thought it was a solid. No, because I mean, because the shape Do of the swap kill themselves because of. Oh, certainly, because of certainly. Well, because suicide is always been a thing. certain. I know, but because of like, oh, no. you know? yeah, well, I think that's yeah. no, that's the only reason to kill yourself. If you're failing at your life, you should be able to take it. I don't know, or you keep trying. There are two. Yeah, it's really, honestly, it's really that simple. You keep pushing the rock or blow your brains. Out. I don't want to hear you complain. Yeah, they, uh, they just invented like the first like suicide pod. They yeah, those are cropping it. up all over the world. What is that? It's like a, it's it's like a little pod thing. Uh -huh. It's like a sarcophagus. Yeah, yeah. 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 And it really just good? like it just kills you immediately and painlessly. The they probably like, like pump a, a certain gas into it that probably puts you to sleep, and then you. Pump. Oh, that's what. That's what. Uh, that's what. What's his name? Um, uh, Kevorkian was doing. Mm. Yeah, I don't think he was doing it like that. But no, he was like, like put a thing over their head and fill it with gas. Okay, so that how we on do a slower scale. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. it was, it I'm was sure there, there were a lot of iterations. Thing. I don't know. I actually didn't look into his actual technique. I feel like mm -hmm. that yeah. we actually a tough way to do. We it. watched it for the podcast with Paul Pipitone. Yeah, you watched oh, yeah, that. Like, that. like a that's documentary like, on how podcast. he would do it. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, that's that's a weird. Yeah, that's cool. those are like what Sweden, Netherlands, and probably in Canada are probably the most pop probably places you can get it done. That's where I see it Suicide most cropping pods? up. Yeah, that's where I heard of. Yeah, it was like people like Matt and I our, and our like, age electing like into that. There was a couple that signed up to do it together. What the wow, fuck? they just want to die together. How did they like? How Romeo and Juliet monkeys on people? <laughs> yeah, because you'd have to test it out on a person. Yeah. So it's just like volunteering people who want to kill themselves. Like to. I mean, imagine that. I fucks feel like up. We, you know, we know how to kill people. We're not pretty good at that. Yeah. You know, it's not that hard. Yeah, I mean, maybe you know they're, they're figuring like it's a safe way to kill yourself. At least now you don't have to like, yeah. you know, you know, put them on a plane else's day and fly into a, into a room, building. Yeah. You know, that's one way to do it. Yeah. That's how I'd kill myself. <laughs> you have to like jump I'd in want... front of a semi truck and give a guy PTSD for thirty yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the sloppy thing about suicide. You have to traumatize someone. Yeah, mm -hmm. you have to ruin someone. Right, day. somebody has to find it. Mm -hmm. Someone has to be like waiting at the subway station. Like fuck, another person fucking killed themselves. And yeah, that happened to me when I was in New York. Was a, someone killed themselves, and so they had to like. Stop the subway. Stop the subway. Yeah. Goddamn annoying. And really, you know, <laughs> slowing down the economy when they do that. Yeah, dude. Jesus Christ. Yeah, just blind. Like, pretty sure it happens like every day. I think. Well, you probably can't own a firearm. It's probably hard to own a firearm in New York. Eh, it's hard. Or... Is that hard? Is it? I mean, I mean, uh, maybe an unlicensed one, but then you have to like have money to buy it. I don't know, dude. You Eric stays friends. strapped. Yeah. If you have friends, yeah. you don't kill yourself. Eric stays strapped. Oh yeah. Oh, shit. What, Matt? What do you think is gonna happen to Eric? Who is Eric? Eric Ooh. Adams. Oh, Eric Adams. I thought about Eric White. I'm like, Eric no, White? No. I don't know who Eric Adams is. You don't know boy. Eric Adams? Nope. The, the mayor of New York? The black guy. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. The black I just, guy? I heard about bribes. it. I mean, I, I saw a YouTube video that something's going down with Eric Adams, but I didn't watch it. So oh, okay. that's all I really. I thought about. you would be informed. He was the mayor of was New York. Something? Was he? Was it? Did, is it related to like the Trump prosecutions? Is that what it is? No, he was like or, taking money. I think every and, like, political was person being in New York flown to Turkey in like first class, and he was to uh, fuck yeah. underage girls or probably fucking yeah. underage girls. Mm -hmm. uh, he said the n word in office and Jeez. stuff like that. So, Wasn't he black? He is black. Yeah, but you can't do that. Yeah, dude. If I learn, come any, on. If I, you can't, not in this household, not in this black household. <laughs> yeah. If a black guy it can't White say the N-word in office, then I don't want to live in that country. Yes. You call that freedom? No. We have all the fucking horrible things that like most politicians have probably said. Like, Come on, let a black guy say the N-word. Mm -hmm. Right. That's what Kwame said. You know what I mean? I'm sure he said it a lot when he was in office. Yeah. He had a thing allegedly uh, like on his official mayor desk that said H-N-I-C. Which stands for head uh, N word in charge, <laughs> which is the most gangster yeah. mayor's like. I want to get that for the yeah. new studio. <laughs> Yours should say H T I C. 
head terrorist jars? I was thinking towel head. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that was a callback. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah. All right, we're loving news. Can we all get one? Uh, I, exactly. Mine will be a head Jew. Oh, what are you? Yeah. HJ, I see. I think Jews are just ahead of everything. Yeah, basically all. Yeah, I mean, it's no surprise that this podcast hit 2,000 subscribers once Matt joined it. Yeah, <laughs> no surprise. We bring on a talent like this yeah exactly it's a real draw yeah you know uh-huh. all my raving followers there's a lot of them yeah you know it's not talent it's just jewish <laughs> <laughs> can't go to new way without there being like 12 people in the room you know so, yeah, and the place is just filled with massage agents and crazy yeah. yeah dude there's too many fucking i would i was doing a thing where every time someone Wolf. would go up i would say what do we think like israel or palestine <laughs> and, then, uh, and then matt came up and i was like i'm not gonna do it for him <laughs> i was a little insulted yeah. i'm like if anybody deserves it yeah you know? <laughs> Wait, somebody needs to be a goddamn israel up yeah. here. <laughs> oh boy i just hope everyone has fun yeah. yeah, I hope so too. Well, aren't you a fucking kindergarten teacher? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, I, hope, I, I I have to agree with that as well. I hope Hamas and the IDF are, you know, they're gonna. They're just, yeah, I hope they're having fun. You think they're gonna make friends? I think they're business partners. Probably isn't there oh, like definitely. a ceasefire going on or something? No, um, no, they should keep <laughs> killing each other. I think there's a. Lot. I like when they yeah, kill dude, each honestly, other. Just keep it up. Blow them up. Like, keep it up, guys. Just actually, but we just blow Israel and Gaza. Just wipe the whole thing off. Yeah, the just map. start over. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll 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 bring all the Jesus stuff over here. Then we just get rid of everything. So, I mean, yeah, yeah, that's the part that needs to be saved. <laughs> I mean, it's just going to be one. How things were for a little. It's going to be one big Iran <laughs> really soon, isn't it? One real big Iran. Mm-hmm. That's what we need. I'm so sick of all these little. Little fucking things. Jews running around. Just one big Iran, please. That's what I want. Bring back the ancient Persian Empire, please. That's pretty sick. Let's please. We got Russia, Persia. Fuck Europe. Yeah, you, well, Europe and the West is going to kind of merge with America. Let it's like going to. whole side of the world just deal with your own shit. It's too. I mean, there's just been too much individuation, all these Irish little man. systems. God, it's all. Wouldn't it be great to just like accidentally die? God, you know I mean? not kill God. yourself, but like you should wish yeah, to be nothing all, and die soon. Not be nothing, die as as soon. Not an afterlife. I believe. Oh, you know, you get jacked right back in. You bet your sweet soul. You make the right decision. You're jacked right back into this shit. I just wanted to like be be fucking end credits. Nope. Speaking of that, oh, nope. Man, you want to hear some fucking <laughs> crazy? Want. You gotta be Tell taking I, notes, y'all, dude. Y'all, y'all believe in afterlives? Yeah. You do. In, you believe I, in afterlife? I find them plausible. Not afterlife, but. It, yeah, you sure. Believe in, in, in a way. Yeah. Okay. More so. I had a fucking crazy experience almost exactly a year ago. Okay. It's November. Mm. Oh. Um, I was on mushrooms, <laughs> and uh, I basically had this revelation that in my previous incarnation, mm. I was a, a nine-year-old Palestinian boy that was killed by an Israeli or a Jewish. Uh, <laughs> That's insane, dude. Was, yeah. That's actually last nuts. time I, I yeah. did mushrooms. I also had like a like thing where it's like i was reincarnated but i thought it was bison shit i kept saying like i was it's bison actually shit. a bison shit me out and i grew that's crazy it's i actually, think i just like was channeling the mushrooms uh-huh. that's how you grow them it's actually a lot crazier than what i just i just gave you the cliff notes yeah, yeah. it's fucking this is an off podcast oh, okay. story sure let's yeah. just say let's just say oh, i I, I know the guy <laughs> what yeah it was Gal Gadot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no, but it's <laughs> her Gadot grandfather, oh, okay. actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's some wild cool. shit. That, did you did your opinions on Palestinians change after? Yes, that? yeah, it did. Really? <laughs> I imagine <laughs> it would. Well, yeah. it started to change before that. It's kind of like a you know, it's, it's been a process in the last couple of years. Sure. Um, Dude, you guys got to get BB yeah. some mushrooms and. <laughs> I've believe me, I've thought about that. We should get all the give all the elites mushrooms, sure. you know, all the Rothschilds and the fucking Klaus Schwabs and shit. Just we need to fucking ayahuasca them the fuck up. Yeah, It'd be so much more chill. <laughs> the the debate should be held on mushrooms. Uh, who says they're not? Who knows what kind of uh, cocktails? It would just be like around. hugging it out and shit. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Should we end it there? I yeah, think that was no, a no, decent no, solution. Right, yeah, yeah. it's been an episode of the P Boys. Uh, guys, subscribe, 
if you uh, or leave a comment, who do you think is going to win, Israel or Palestine? <laughs> Let us know in the comments of this week's episode of The People Is. We want to hear your thoughts. One of them is favored significantly, but we won't tell you who. <laughs> yeah, who's winning, guys? Leave the score down below on this episode of The People Is. Don't forget to bet on FanDuel Sports. <laughs> yeah, who's going to win? I got I'm, you. Listen, man. I'm gonna make some money off of this one. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, Matt Lemonsack, do you want to plug anything? Um, doing a show in Grand Rapids, October 22nd. Mm-hmm. Uh, nice. Tip top deluxe bar and grill. Got to throw the deluxe in. Sure. And then on the on October 26th at Miller's Place in K-Pac. Nice dude. You went out of order. No, I went 22nd, 26th. Oh, I thought you said 27th. This might not be out on the 22nd, but this might. <laughs> Be out after the 22nd. Whatever. I don't fucking Thank you for coming and seeing yeah. me, everyone. <laughs> lemon, lemon boy. Uh, Matt, do you have anything you want to plug? No, I'm going to Roadhouse right after this. Nice. So a couple weeks ago, I was at Roadhouse. Cool. Jacob, do you have anything? Uh, uh, the podcast that I do now has a name. It's called Have Fun. So go check that out um, on the Inner Wizard YouTube channel. Sure. That's cool. um, yeah. Well, one thing I actually, I'm, I'll be at the Irish Tavern in Waterford on November first. Pretty cool. So, yeah. <clears throat> All right, nice. Hell yeah, I think. I don't have anything. Cool. That's been a P boys. We'll see you next. Good time. night. Big peace. Bye.